Hey, 42 here. The humble caterpillar is one of the most mind-shatteringly incredulous creatures on planet Earth. There's so much more to this chubby worm than meets the eye. If there was a prize for the animal most likely to be a Pokemon, then this suave fella would take gold, because it evolves not once, but twice. First from a larva to a caterpillar, then finally into a beautiful butterfly. Actually, it's so alike a Pokemon, it already is one. But how does a living, organic thing metamorphosize so consistently and so perfectly into a completely different creature of an entirely different shape and size? You may be either grossed out when I tell you this or totally amazed, but inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar completely liquidizes, turning into a mush of gooey proteins and fibers and it slowly reforms into a butterfly over 10 days. We'll talk more about metamorphosis later, but first, let's start from the beginning of this incredible insect's life cycle. Because this amazing insect has so many secrets up its sleeve, or wings, that you're not going to want to miss any of it. A female butterfly will first find a nice looking tree and lay its tiny eggs on the underside of the tree or plant's leaves. Each egg contains a tiny, tiny caterpillar larva. But the mother is extremely picky about which plant gets to play host to her eggs. Each different species of butterfly uses a different species of plant to lay their eggs on. And only that. Plant. This is all made a thousand times more complicated when you consider that there are over 20,000 species of butterfly in the world. The egg is the size of a pinhead and the mother will lay 500 eggs at a time. It then takes four days for the egg to hatch. By this point, the larva is freaking starving, so it eats its way out of its own egg. Then it eats the rest of the eggshell as well. It also eats the entire leaf it's on, and it will probably have a good go at the leaf next to it as well. This first meal is very dangerous, because the various sticky residues found inside some species of leaves can cause the caterpillar larva's mouth to gum up. Many caterpillars will die from this. If it does survive this great feast, then all this sustenance gives the greedy little fella energy to grow into several times its size. It will then take a break to shed its first layer of skin. The caterpillar will then spend the next week eating leaves and growing into a full-sized caterpillar. Once fully grown, this ravenous tyrant can eat a full leaf in under an hour. Once the caterpillar has gotten all nice and fat, it prepares for the big change. It finds a nice, quiet spot underneath a branch and spins itself a silk button to attach itself to the underside of the branch. Other species get even fancier and spin a fine silk harness that they sit inside. And now begins the magic trick. It's commonly thought that the caterpillar now makes its chrysalis, also known as a pupa, but not a cocoon, that's something else. But it doesn't make it. It in fact grows this hardened shell underneath its top layer of skin in the week leading up to its metamorphosis. So when the time comes, all it has to do is shed its top layer of skin and its protective pupa is all ready for the transformation to begin. But the caterpillar has another sneaky magic trick up its sleeve. To disguise itself from predators, the pupa will change its colour to exactly match that of whatever is behind it. And so the transformation begins, taking roughly two weeks to turn from a furry slug into a beautiful winged insect. But if you were able to see inside the pupa whilst this is taking place, you might be rather horrified. The transformation begins with the caterpillar releasing digestive enzymes to eat itself alive, effectively turning itself into a soup. Yuck. If you were to cut open a pupa at the right time during metamorphosis, a goo would ooze out. But this magic goo contains everything needed to create a butterfly. And that is rather incredible. But not every cell liquefies. Certain groups of highly organized cells remain as solids within the soup. Over the course of two weeks, this caterpillar curry slowly turns into a butterfly broth and then into an actual butterfly, all from a gooey liquid. 
It's such an incredible phenomenon that scientists still aren't quite sure how this liquid organizes itself into a butterfly. What's so amazing about all of this is that everything about the creature changes during the transformation. Its shape, its tastes, how it eats, how it moves, and how it senses. Yet, the butterfly is still able to remember its life as a caterpillar. You would think that your brain being turned into a soup, then reshaped into a completely new brain, would erase all of your memories. But a recent study showed that butterflies were able to remember the solution to a puzzle that they were taught how to solve when they were a caterpillar. Meaning, some of the synaptic connections in the caterpillar's brain must survive the superfication, making the humble caterpillar one of the true wonders of the natural world. Thanks for watching. Some photos can tell rich, detailed stories. Others inspire a thousand questions. But there's an even more dangerous drug, a substance so terrifying that it would have brought David Bowie back down to earth.